Welcome to Shovelware Diggers. Our dig team is currently excavating the Softkey Shareware 2000 Hit Games 2CD Collection. You can find a link in the video description listing the entire directory structure of this archive. Here's what our diggers have for week 215. For more information on how to join the dig team, simply follow the Patreon link in the video description. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. First up, Troy Bowman has dug up WinGames backslash unclassified backslash Xan12C. Really not quite sure what to expect with this one. Um, Xan12C, easy to find. Got a couple waves, some bitmaps. Um, well, there doesn't seem to be any documentation, so let's just run it. Zanti, a renegade band of Zanti warriors have invaded the Earth. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Game is shareware, cost registration $10, but upgrades are free. Um, I have no idea what that means. Like, PSSLL slash CT had a PO box. And look, it even says call LL slash CT. I, I guess that's apparently some BBS or something. Well, then why is that like, that? this can't be the author of the game. Well, there is an about. Okay, so we have an about. So, Zanti is reminiscent of the Twilight Zone episode, The Zanti Misfits. Okay, then. In this game, a ship full of Zantis from the planet Zanti land on Earth ready to attack. Your job is to use the path pieces to direct their path to the right-hand side of the end piece and into the hands of Earth's mil- Is this going to be a pipe dream clone? <laughs> This sounds like we took an episode of The Twilight Zone and ended up with a pipe dream game. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to find out if that's true in a second here. The path's not completed to the end piece as Zantis gain access to the civilian population and the Earth is lost. Unnecessary comma. Okay, so there's a how to order screen. Which again, I still don't know what this means. LL slash CT. Hmm. Well, apparently in our options menu here, we have a PG-13 option, which is interesting, as well as 16 color options, as well as the 256 color option. So I leave the PG-13 off for the moment, just to see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we got a little score thing up here and a lot of beeps, and yeah, this is Pipe Dream. <laughs> Although I feel like we've seen this before. It's like, this little thing that opened up looked familiar. Although it looks like... <laughs> looks like I'll be joining you for dinner tonight, I hope you... You will enjoy this as much as I will. Yeah, sure. Um, See, so yeah, apparently I immediately... Or oh, hang on a sec. <laughs> it insta-quits? Really? Oh, so much ding. Okay, so it's going to give me the pieces here. And it's got the opening thing there. And then... Okay, now it's just beeping like crazy. Um... Game? Okay, uh, what? Also, it says you loose up here. <laughs> How do you make a typo like that? And yeah, once you lose, you have to start the game over again. That's not a good way of doing it. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe that I have to put them in order, like in Pipe Dream. I can't just click on them. So in that case, we'll do... Um, yeah, now I'm just trying to get pieces that look like they're going to help. Oh, come on, give me something to... Wow! It really didn't want to give me pieces to work with. Okay, fourth or fifth time's a charm? I don't know how many times I've tried this now. <laughs> okay, gave me a bunch of straights. That's always a good start. So we'll go like that. And then... Right here. Put the straights in. There. This game just wants to ding like crazy. <laughs> oh, so many dings. But anyways, let's see. 
So the little Zonti Ant will be good with going in there. You go in. Well, the ding stopped. And that's some. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Earth is saved. The military option has prevailed. <laughs> I wonder what the snapshot button. Your last victory is now immortalized in a bitmap in the clipboard. Um, so you're saying that I can actually go into like, go into paintbrush here and then go paste and it's like, oh. So it didn't, um, it didn't paste the ant thing or the <laughs> effect following. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it actually, it lets you copy and paste your layout for whatever reason. I don't know why you want to do that. Because it's not like, it's not like you could use it for str for strategic purposes later because, no, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Because you don't really have a choice as to what game, what pieces you get, right? And I'm going to guess level two is not really any different. So yeah, we just place our pieces down. And it doesn't look like there's a way to speed this up. Or make it go faster. Or literally do anything other than ding at me. <laughs> so yeah, that was Zanti. Um, this is kind of an obnoxious pipe dream clone. <laughs> like, I, I, it works. Like, that's more than can be said for some games. But this is not enjoyable. I'd rather be playing an actual pipe dream game. Next up, RetroSwim has dug up DOS games backslash arcade 3 backslash VGA block. Well, my guess is this is going to be in VGA and it's going to involve blocks of some kind. At least that's the assumption. Um, I think it's just got a doc file and an executable. So blocks.doc. And what we got here? Blocks by Gar Godfrey. Alpha version 2. Welcome to the test edition of Blocks. This game is in the development process and any input offered will be appreciated. Also, an un another unnecessary comma. We seem to be running into a lot of those today. Enjoy this game, then by adding your input, I'll send you a complete final version of the game. Only 10 levels for now. Okay, object. The object of blocks is to remove all the colored blocks from the screen. Blocks disappear when they are aligned with another block of the same color. They must be perfectly aligned, not just touching. There are times when you'll need to match three or more blocks at a time, so be careful. Okay, I got a funny feeling I have an idea of what this gameplay is going to entail. Because I think we've played a couple games, at least, that have this style of mechanics to it. Although, no idea if this is going to have, like, a gravity mechanic to it as well or not, but... We'll see how this goes. Um, very possible for you to quickly get into a situation where completion of levels is impossible. When this happens, press the backspace key to start over. Okay. Well, nothing more to the document, so here we go. Blocks. Oh yeah, this looks familiar. Is this another one that we've seen before in the past? Actually, no, wait. I think I might have seen this more recently in someone else's video. Hmm. Well, either, either way, we'll, we'll just treat it as though I've never seen this before. <laughs> Because, quite, quite frankly, even though it looks familiar to me right now, I don't think I've played this. <laughs> so, space bars jump, we got left and right, backspace to repeat level, let's start. Um, I hit space bar. Okay, there it goes. Yeah! I... Okay, I'm sure I've never played this before, but I'm also positive I've seen this in someone else's video recently, and I don't remember whose. So, okay, so there's our jump. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's this kind of game where you gotta, um... Huh. Well, I guess the, um... Actually, can I hold keys down? Oh, I can! I was not expecting that, <laughs> given given the kind of jank in the controls right here, I was not expecting to be able to hold keys down, but I actually can. Um, I'm guessing I probably have to uh, push this block onto here, because when that goes all the way to the, up to the top, they will align. 
And then as for the rest, um, I guess I should probably, hmm, actually I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> well, I think this one over here, yeah, if we move this one over and then wait for that one for the elevator thing or platform or whatever. Then we go over here. Move this one. And then we should be good. And that makes an exit door appear. Okay, so despite the graphics looking fairly subpar, this actually plays okay. <laughs> Gotta say, I wasn't expecting that. Although, here's a, here's a situation where we already have a very unusual circumstance. Because there's only three of the um, cyan blocks with the brown middles in them. So, what we're gonna have to do is push this one over almost all the way. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. And then we go up here and push this one down. And that actually created a sort of combo there. But yeah, even though this game looks amateur, it actually plays okay. So, <laughs> kind of wasn't expecting that, but hey, you know, I'd, I, I'd be one of the first out there to say that the gameplay is more important than the graphics. So, although I'm kind of wondering what I'm supposed to do about this. Let's quick test. Can I actually... Okay, so it looks like if I'm, um... Yeah, so if I jump, I, it actually carries my momentum so that I can get across these gaps like that. Okay. Yeah, I stopped for a moment here because I'm trying to think what I'm going to do about that cyan block. I think what I need to do is I need to push it down to the other side, in a sense. Well, but that's not going to work because the platform's in the way. Well, you know, there's nothing sane. There's nothing sane that I can't push those cyan blocks over a bit. Like the ones at the bottom. So let's get the red one out of the way red ones out of the way first, because this is gonna be complicated. So no oh, brown ones with the purple middles or the magenta or whatever. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push this one over here. And then push this one like that. Oh, and I'm actually gonna have to get on this platform to get back up here. Okay, so now, we can get over here. We go up top here and then push this one down like that. And then what I'm gonna do is try to push it over here. And go like that. There we go. So yeah, that was blocks. This is actually pretty competent in terms of gameplay. Um, again, the graphics are very amateur, but that doesn't really matter when you have, when your gameplay is actually decent. Like the controls are decent. You can push multiple keys at a time. The it is a little weird how everything moves in these sort of like small steps, but then that's not really that big a deal. It, like everything aligns properly, sort of. <laughs> like those bricks up there aren't aligned, but then that seems to be intentional that it's done that way for whatever reason. So yeah, I wouldn't call this a hidden gem, but it plays fine. So yeah, there you go. And we're ending on a team dig today from The Great Code Holio and Jacob Rudolph, DOS games backslash arcade 2 backslash road race. Well, we're clearly going to be on a road and we're clearly going to be racing. At least that's the assumption. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm saying the same phrases over and over again. I just... 
I don't know, what, what am I supposed to say? Uh, this looks like it's going to be some kind of racing game with roads. It's the roads that are racing this time. <laughs> uh, it's too late for me to be doing this. It's like past midnight right now. Um, now I got the README. Uh, I got an executable track edit. So that's kind of interesting. It looks like there's actually a track editor here. Um, there's a race.bat. I'm going to quickly type that one out. Um, so it does the README and then goes right into the executable. Okay, so don't really need to run that batch file. Um, but let's edit the README. The read.me. Okay, so controls are left and right only, Q to exit to DOS while playing the game. <laughs> okay, that I guess that's simple. Wait, there's no accelerator? What? Largest track generated by the track editor covering the entire screen is too larger than the game will play. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah. Is too larger than the game will play. <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least it's not another unnecessary comma. <laughs> Okay, so the object of the game is to stay close to the center line when making a new track, use the number pad to change directions. Also press enter when making a new track for more options like hills, chicanes, etc. Crossing over the track will create a tunnel. Oh, well, at least it's smart enough to automatically do that. When finished making a track, press up for finish. Like to delete a track, you can do from, from DOS. Okay, so there's not really a lot going on here. Like, we don't even have any author information or anything. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just run it. So, road. Turbo Champions. Choose video display. We are on EGA. Uh, game. Oh, there it goes. So, um. Oh, this is. Really? <laughs> I thought this was going to be like some independent thing, but nope, this is Wares. Someone ripping off Mastertronic here. Go figure. Well, I guess we'll choose a race and we'll choose a course. Yeah, sure, this one, why not? Oh, you have to add it to the... Okay. So apparently we accelerate automatically. And that was bizarre. We like suddenly became dithered when we hit the... When we started spinning in the... Wait, are this... Was that like a wagon? <laughs> what the heck is, are, is a wagon doing on the road here? Oh no, they're, ga they're gas, um... Gas tankers. So yeah, you just accelerate automatically, it looks like. Like, is this the way to get, this game is supposed to play? And yeah, apparently if you touch another vehicle, you explode. So yeah, these are very volatile. Yeah, look at that. You go like dithered for a moment there. That is so weird. This almost doesn't feel like it's an actual completed game. Because also, I'm not hearing any sound effects. Uh, I'm, I'm not muted. <laughs> there are no sound effects in here. And yeah, how are you supposed to dodge stuff properly if you don't have any brakes? It's like constant acceleration. Also, I'd swear that spinning out effect when you hit the water comes from a different game like OutRun. And that's why it's dithered like that. Like they ripped off the graphics for that and meant to redo it in their own style, but didn't for whatever reason. Which wouldn't surprise me. Mastertronic was a company that tried to churn out software lightning fast. I got a funny feeling we're not gonna finish this race. <laughs> And it's not really a race either, is it? It's just like going against the clock. And time is up. And we get a little game over thing zooming in, which is oddly chopped off by a pixel at the top. I mean, let's try a simpler track because then we maybe we'll actually make some progress here. So let's just try this one. Okay, so it gave us 65. Wait. Did it skip a number? I saw it go from 65 to 63. Am I just crazy or did that actually happen? 
So I should point out too that these controls are actually terrible. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, the way these controls work is you press the key once slightly to start turning, and then you keep turning no matter what until you press the opposite direction. <laughs> so it's actually, like, right now I'm not pressing anything on the keyboard. I just keep going right. So I have to actually tap the other, and look at that. It went two stages in the other direction. So sometimes when you, like, the idea is, is you need to sort of tap it to get it to change direction. But at the same time, it's like sometimes turns you too much. And you don't really have control over that. Yeah, what was the name of this game? Turbo Champions? <laughs> More like Turbo Outrun Wannabe. <laughs> oh, this game is not good. Oh, uh, why am I still playing it? Oh, did I actually... Oh, I actually finished a lap. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, the game actually does seem to be going slower than it's supposed to. Hmm. Maybe if I turn the cycles up, it'll play a little better. I'm just worried if I turn it up too much, then it's gonna go, like, super lightning fast or something. So, let's see here. Okay, this seems like it's probably the correct speed now. I turned it up a little. So yeah, there was a train passing by just now, so I wasn't able to comment on this, but it seems to be consistent, so I'll get to show you all this happening again now. Because, <laughs> apparently, this, this game has an unfinished feel to it. So this might have been something Mastertronic was going to make, but then never released, or maybe they released it in an unfinished state. That wouldn't surprise me either. But the game can't handle more than 99 seconds on the clock. And you get the timer extends when you finish a lap. So watch what happens when you finish a lap. Well, first of all, it got really weird with the six up there, but watch what happens now. <laughs> so now the six has vanished and we've got like nothing three seconds on the clock. And now look, <laughs> it's just a corrupted mess. <laughs> Oh, the game really doesn't like it when you have more than 99 seconds on the clock. So yeah, that was, what, Turbo Champions or something like that? Actually, if I hit es uh, escape, it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, quit Quit just totally uh, quits outright. Turbo Champions. Yeah, so this game feels unfinished, and it feels like it's wears at the same time. Like, I don't know. Like, did this come out? Was this something somebody, like, snuck out of a Mastertronic office? I don't know. And look at that, there seems, there, that, that was like hills there. I didn't see any hills in the, in the tracks. Well, I guess you probably wouldn't, but. Yeah, this is clearly trying to be an OutRun clone, all the way down to even ripping some of the graphics, if I'm not mistaken. But is otherwise not in good shape.